and surgery last December for a cancerous growth on her lip. And now for a look at people and places in the news, here's SNC's Deborah Stone. It's not the kind of scene you'd want to see in your backyard, but people living near Mount Etna in Sicily find it hard to resist. As far as spectacular sights go these days, Mount Etna continues to send flows of fiery lava coursing down its slopes. Now, firefighter Vern Zaucha wasn't racing to quite as big a blaze as what you just saw in Sicily, but he was in a hurry. On his way to fight a fire in Bay City, Michigan, he had to swerve to avoid a car. He ended up veering into vehicles. No one was hurt, but Vern probably won't live while. Being in the ROTC isn't easy, especially when everyone's bigger than you are. Michael Brown is only 22 months old. That thumb he's holding belongs to his dad. Little Michael temporarily lost his military demeanor when a cadet knelt down to say hello. Now this little boy is definitely not the shy type. Six-year-old Duncan Hunter Jr., son of Representative Duncan Hunter, went to the White House with his dad. He gave President Reagan a picture he drew. The president responded in kind. Nothing could have made little Duncan happier. Deborah Stone, Satellite News Channel. It's 58 minutes after the hour. Time to find what stories are coming up on Satellite News Channel. Here's Dan Breinholt. Dan? Thank you, Carol. And here are some of the stories we're following at this hour. The Reagan administration has pronounced that inflation has been brought under control. This after wholesale prices dropped in April for the third month this year. Israeli, Lebanese, and American negotiators will try once again Sunday to reach final agreement on a plan to remove Israeli troops from Lebanon. The negotiation effort has been intensified due to Syria's flat refusal of the plan. Federal officials say they've discovered yet another Missouri community heavily contaminated with the deadly dioxin. The levels are so high that families are being ordered temporarily relocation almost immediately. And the Environmental Protection Agency has announced a major overhaul of its Superfund programs designed to clean up toxic dump sites. Also ahead, Steve Rue updates the sports. Bob Richards tracks the nation's weather. And we'll have the latest in business as well. These stories and more straight ahead on the Satellite News Channel. We'll be back in one minute. President Reagan assured the nation. 11.51 a.m. Well, eventually... Car bomb went off in London's Hyde Park. 3.08 p.m. No matter what schedule you're on, whenever you want it, the Satellite News Channel can give you a quick update on the world. Join us for 18 minutes anytime, and we'll tell you what's happening. Come back again later, and we'll tell you what's new and what's changed since you've been gone. International and national news, regional news, sports, weather, and business reports. News that works on your schedule, because we work on your schedule. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, the Satellite News Channel staff is Gath News. Worldwide cover news. Washington coverage from SNC. Complete national coverage from our 24 regions. More news resources than any other domestic news service. So ice three times a day. We'll tell you what's happening. All in 18 minutes on SNC, the Satellite News Channel. This is the Satellite News Channel. Give us 18 minutes to the world. It is on the top of the hour. I'm Dan. Inflation has been brought under control on Friday from Reagan administration economist Martin Feldstein after the government announced that continuing to fall. April's decline as even more surprise prices were up more than 1%. But wholesale energy prices fell 3%. A tenth of a percent drop represents the third decline in the produce price index. On an annual basis, it fell on 3.7%. Last year's PPI rose 3.5%. News Friday, the output of factory goods climbed for the fifth straight month in April, up over 2%. Senate has done their budget designing work uh, Friday since they've been unable to come up with a version for the bill approved. This because Senate Republicans still locked on whether or not to increase taxes next year. Federal officials say community heavily contaminated with deadly dioxin. The levels are so high, offered temporary relocation almost. The stock market rose broadly today, interrupting a two-day slide. The upsurge followed government reports that wholesale prices were down and industrial production was up. Those were the figures for April. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up 4.35 at 1218.70, with 83,110,000 shares traded. Checking the trading index on the New York Stock Exchange, 1,061 issues advanced, 542 declined, and topping the most active list was Greyhound Corp. Closed up 23 and a half, and Greyhound Weights closed at 132nd. The American Stock Exchange, the index was up at 451.96, with 11,150,000 shares changing hands. We'll have our next SNC business report in this week. I'm Kathleen Campion.
Lowe's are located across the country. Here's Bob Richards. Bob. Thanks a lot, Dan, and good Friday evening, everyone. Latest satellite view around the country shows where the heavies are going on right now. Plain states from Oklahoma through Arkansas, northward through Kansas, Missouri, and into Nebraska and Iowa. Under these clouds that you see on our latest picture, we do have some very heavy showers and thunder showers. Golf ball size hail reported earlier over two to three inches of rain in many locales. Texas, though, along the Gulf Coast to southern Georgia and Florida, A OK, -OK you can't complain. The Northeast, not bad. Really, it cleared a partly cloudy. This picture in its bite, a few lingering clouds, northern New England, and the far west snow continues to fall northern. Right. Okay, and on Saturday, it looks this way. One storm controlling most of the nation's weather. It's a frontal system that will extend from the lower Mississippi Great Lakes states. Our Saturday morning weather map is about to come into view. There you go. Low pressure over the nation's midsection. The mist on showers and thunderstorms. The eastern seaboard, the far west, not bad. Some low-lying clouds, some fog early in the morning. Pacific Northwest will be burning off. High temperatures on Saturday again show a contrast that is typical of the month of May over the country while we will see cool uh, crisp high temperatures in the 30s and 40s northern plains northern Rockies with a little bit of snow here and there it will warm up on the west coast notice the east will warm 5 to 10 degrees warmer on Saturday than it was on Friday for the most part highs will reach into the 60s 70s and 80s then on Sunday's plan Make them with a fair amount of confidence, especially from the Plain States to the West Coast. A bit of an upper level disturbance will uh, produce some light above central and southern Rockies. But for the deserts of the south, 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 southwest, all right. The far west, not bad. Pacific Northwest, you can't complain. While that frontal system meanders, really not moving too much all the way from the Gulf Coast to Louisiana northward into the Ohio and Tennessee Valleys. Thunder may be heavy at times. A little bit of fog along the eastern seaboard, but again, not bad. Summer approaches in the east while winter holds on over the northern plain states. The details, coming up. It is now 11 minutes after the hour. The last victim from a flash flood in Texas has been found. We get details from Randy Wiles of Regional Associate KENS. The search along the Pernalis River came to an end early this morning when the last of the missing campers were located. The adult... The origins of the universe, and this new discovery, experts say, could understand more about the Earth. It is now 13 past the hour, a game in the NBA tonight, and I was kind of surprised uh, on how things are turning out tonight after San Antonio really blitzed uh, Los Angeles uh, the other night. It's uh, something It looks like the Lakers have come out to play basketball tonight, especially in the last quarter, uh, the second half. They were trailing at halftime by a score of 53 to 52, but the Lakers have come back big in the second half, and uh, they now lead it by a score of 188, and I've just been given an update. It's now 106 to 91, and that's with less than three minutes remaining in the NBA playoff game. Now, going into that game, the best of seven series was tied at one game apiece after leaving the forum in Los Angeles. Going on tonight, a couple of finals in already. It was Cleveland beating Toronto by a score of 5-1. to one. New York over Chicago, 3-1. to one. Milwaukee and Boston was postponed because of rain. In that Yankee game, a couple of home runs did the damage. It was Craig Nettles with this shot that goes into that short porch over in uh, right field at Yankee Stadium. And Oscar Gamble also was able to put one out his first of the year. That one made it 2-1. to one. The Yanks go on to win it 3-1. to one. Other scores, it was Kansas City beating Detroit 5-2. to two. Baltimore over Texas, 8-1. to one. And the... Seventh inning is California leading Minnesota 4-3, to three, and Oakland is shutting out Seattle at the moment. That's 4 nothing in the sixth. Over in the National League, we have Philadelphia and Chicago played an afternoon game, and that was a big win for Chicago. They beat them 10-2. to two. From Los Angeles, San Diego, Las Vegas, and all of the Southwest, regional news on satellite news channels, direct from the newsroom at KTTV Los Angeles. Whenever and wherever news happens, we'll be there to bring you the sights and sounds of today's news, plus sports action and regional weather forecasts. Yes, America, we've got you covered in Southern California and Nevada on the Satellite News Channel. This is the Satellite News Channel. All news, all the time. It is now 17 past the hour. I'm Dan Breinholt. Here are the top stories. Wholesale prices were down a tenth of a percent in April. Kathleen Campion.